So here we are in Concord, New Hampshire. There's a beautiful Parker State Bet Capitol building, and we're going off to see what Mr. Newt Cambridge has to say about the self employed. Well, thank you very much, and thank you all for coming to this forum. It's good to be back in New Hampshire. This is going to be a very exciting week, uh, and we need your help. I think that the most important thing we need to communicate is, you know, this is not a campaign for sort of a senior class president. And uh, Jefferson or George Washington be arrested for growing marijuana? I think Jefferson or George, or George Washington would have... Uh, uh, rather strongly discouraged you from growing marijuana and their techniques of dealing with it would have been rather more violent than the current government. The student loan program has become a way to avoid reality. So students actually take longer today to go through school, they take fewer courses, and then they're shocked to discover that all the money they borrowed for all those years is actually come, going to come due. I mean, the system was almost designed to trap people. So first of all, I encourage students to borrow as little as possible and where, and where possible to work your way through school and to go through school as quickly as you can. Uh, I think actually what we want to have is a country where people can graduate and get a job and take care of themselves and be self-reliant and self-sufficient. <clears throat> Thank you all very much. Well, here we are in a really nice diner off of 93. I guess it's called Tilton Diner. And uh, we're on our way to see another Newt event to see if we can get Newt this time. And I, I like to take advantage of my failures and come up with a new opening line. So uh, I'm going to say, uh, I like the word that you use, self-aligned. Uh, self-motivator, self-respect, self-starter, self-sufficient. How come you're not saying the word self-employed? Then go launch into my rap. So I'm looking forward to the opportunity to try to do that. And meanwhile, we're recharging the battery because right from Laconia, New Hampshire, where we're going, we're going to have to charge back down to Peterborough and see if we can get the Mitt Romney. So it's an exciting day in the world of Mark Dunow and his sidekick Steve. So here we are in Laconia, which is on Lake Winnipesaukee, the other side of Lake Winnipesaukee where we're at. And Newt's right in this. Belknap Mills, and we're just going to try to get to Newt and see if he, in all those words that self that he's been using, he can, uh, we can motivate him to say self-employed. Just so happens that Newt is not going to be at the time that he said he would. He's made it a little bit later. So we've had to make a tactical decision. We're going to blow off Newt today. He already did irritate me and totally got in the skin of Richie over here by saying he wanted to get rid of grants for kids going to college, which is really a good way to get the young people involved. Um, so we're just going to see what Mitt has to say and see if we can have a more successful session with him. 